Welcome back to Indiana News Desk. Well, we ask for your input and listeners responded with questions about climate change that they wanted our city limits project to explore. In a story reported by Bob Zaltzberg, Benta Boutier, Autumn Schoolman, and Allison Zeihammer, we look at what the city and its residents can do to make a difference. Jenna McCabe is director of the Environmental Resilience Institute. The institute brings together experts from many disciplines to help prepare the state for what's ahead. It's getting warmer in Indiana and it's going to continue to get warmer. We're going to have more days in the summer where it's over 95 degrees and doesn't cool down. And that has lots of effects on public health and agriculture and the way we live. Um, and changes in the amount of precipitation that we're getting in different times of the year uh, and how severe those rain events are. And we've already seen the flooding that's been happening in Indiana. McCabe says the question, what can an individual do, is an important one that many people are asking. We don't want people to despair and think that there's nothing to be done. And in fact, even though scientists tell us that these effects of climate change are going to continue and, and worsen, um, even if we were to eliminate all carbon emissions today, every ton of carbon we don't put in the atmosphere from this day forward will make the problems easier to deal with and will mean less suffering and disruption. She says the city of Bloomington is ahead of many other municipalities. It has a thorough sustainability action plan and in October released a greenhouse gas inventory. City officials say both are starting points to guide policies. Consider the greenhouse gas inventory. First step was really to do that because it helps us to really understand and analyze where are the emissions uh, coming from both within the city operations but also uh, from the community. Crowley says individuals can do many things but it comes down to paying attention to daily habits. But I would say that an individual could and should take a look at what their behaviors are and ask themselves the question, is there a better way? And that's something folks in Bloomington have done. Hundreds of residents have chosen to put solar panels on their homes. It's a viable alternative to fossil-based um, energy production in Indiana. So it's something that individual homeowners can do for themselves to support their um, their work uh, the, to, toward a brighter future, you know, a cleaner future. McCabe says it's important to consider how much energy you use every day. Adjusting your thermostat and e even a couple degrees. Um, another hugely impactful thing is to wash your clothes in cold water. It's, it's amazing how much energy hot water in laundry uses. So um, those are two very easy things to do. And then there's transportation. Consider using the bus, or walking, or biking. The EPA says a typical passenger vehicle emits about 4.6 metric tons of carbon dioxide a year, depending on fuel, fuel economy, and the number of miles driven. That's for each of the more than 272 million vehicles registered in the U.S. as recently as 2017. You can also act on lighting. If people switch to LED light bulbs, to the high efficiency light bulbs, um, they will save a lot of money and we will save a lot of energy. McCabe says the size of the potential problems that can be caused by climate change are so daunting, individual actions alone need to be accompanied by broader policy decisions at a governmental level. Most importantly though, or maybe, maybe most importantly, um, people need to think about the policymakers that we are electing into public office. Um, I often ask this question of people, what's the most important thing people can do? And, and more people, more, the answer I get more often than any other answer is vote. Vote for people who understand what science is telling us and that we need to put policies in place. Because it, we will not solve this problem just by people making individual choices to carry a, a reusable coffee mug with them. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Bob Zaltzberg.